Purchasing this iPad saved me $985.99. But the question is, can this thing actually replace my camera monitor, second display, and also my teleprompter? I don't know, you tell me. Oh. In the past, from my experience, the iPad mini has always been used for note taking, a sketchbook, or a streaming device. I mean, doesn't that sound pretty fair? Before the new one came out, I would say that you probably saw this mostly in kids' hands so that they wouldn't bother their parents. So August 2022 rolls around and I am ready to purchase a bunch of different gear to use for my different shoes. Now, one of the things that I was looking for was a monitor to work better with my Sony FX3 as I had just tried out the Blackmagic 12G Video Assist and didn't like it at all. So after selling that monitor, I put the Port Keys LH5P in my Amazon cart and I was saving up to buy that monitor. Now the reason why I specifically wanted this monitor is because it could actually control my camera settings. So I was very ready to purchase this monitor for $399 because I really thought that it would speed up my shooting process whenever I'm out shooting in the field. Now another thing that I had on my list is an external display. While traveling and even while working from home, it's very nice to have extra real estate where you can move things around on the screen. And so I was going to go with the sidetrack display and I was very happy with that purchase for $329. Now the very the very last thing that I had on my Amazon cart, which was the most expensive, was a teleprompter for $999. Now to be very clear, these are not items that I was maybe going to buy. I had already started saving money and I was ready to purchase these items as soon as I got the rest of the money. And little did I know, September 14th rolls around and Apple releases this. Introducing the all new iPad mini. <laughs> So after thinking about it for quite a while, I mean, who am I kidding? I didn't think about it at all. I immediately bought this iPad as soon as they released it. So since then, let's talk about what this iPad actually does for me. This iPad comes with such an incredible display that I couldn't help to think how better of a camera monitor would it make. And so after just a little bit of research, I found an app that would work perfect as a wireless camera monitor for my Sony FX3. Now, not only does the Monitor Plus app give me access to all my camera settings, but it actually has features that high-end monitors have. So you get things like LUT inputs and false color, and the list really could go on and on. So using my quick release system, I attach this iPad to the top of my camera, and I have a very fun time shooting with this monitor. And now that it actually matters, but it looks super nice because you don't have any wires running to the iPad to display an image. So whenever I'm out traveling from state to state or even to a different country for a shoot, it's super nice to have this iPad as a second display. The colors are very accurate and the screen actually gets pretty bright. And again, I don't need any cables to connect to this iPad to use as an external monitor with my MacBook. So that means that it makes for a very quick and easy setup whenever I'm at a coffee shop editing or when I'm out of state or out of town. Now you can only imagine how helpful it is to use something like this as a teleprompter. Being able to connect this to the device that I bought and then use a PlayStation controller to actually control the script speed and all of the different things is so helpful and so incredible. Now I've been on shoots where I've made thousands of dollars and I've pulled out this iPad and this teleprompter and the client was very impressed and also very happy that I brought something for them to read off of. Now, not only do I use it for clients, I also use it for making these YouTube videos. Videos. So there we have it, I saved some money. But that's not always necessarily a good thing. Does this iPad actually function well for the different jobs that I bought it for? Now as a camera monitor, this thing is incredible. I really couldn't ask for anything better. At first, I was having some connection issues, but then Sony released an update for the camera, and then the monitor app released an update, which made the connection issues become less and less. Now as far as using this as a second display, I don't have any issues at all. And if I do have any issues where the iPad isn't coming up as an option, then it's super easy to plug in a lightning to USB-C cable into my computer, and then I'm able to use this as a monitor. And using this as a teleprompter is also very helpful and so incredible. Now the only thing that I would say about the teleprompter is if you're gonna buy the same thing that holds the iPad, then I would recommend that you don't use that app and you use this app instead because it's so much better. So at the end of the day, this iPad actually surpassed all of its previous use cases and became an actual filmmaking tool for me. Not only does it save me time and money, but I actually have a very fun time using this. Not to mention I can still use it for all the other things that I mentioned that iPad are usually known for. If you're interested in knowing how well this iPad actually works paired with my Sony FX3, then check out this playlist right here and subscribe because I'm going to be releasing that video very soon.